How do you celebrate an icon? Find out in Attic Film Review. Hello, this is Seth Willing with another review. I'm not doing any cars this week because my asthma is acting up. Instead, I'm doing an Attic Film Review of The Old Man and the Gun. The Old Man and the Gun is directed by David Lowry. It stars Robert Redford, Casey Affleck, Sissy Spacek, Danny Glover, and Tom Waits. This is billed as Robert Redford's last film. And as last films go, he could not have picked a better one. Because The Old Man and the Gun is reportedly Redford's last film, I've decided to emulate the style of this film by shooting it in the digital equivalent of the way it was actually shot. More on this later. In this true story, Robert Redford acts, says Forrest Tucker, bank robber and multiple prison escapist. Forrest was first locked up when he stole a bike when he was 15. According to himself, he made 18 successful prison escapes and 12 failed escapes. One of his most famous escapes was when he used the boat to row himself to freedom. Like I said before, if this is Robert Redford's last film, it's a good one. When Tucker robbed banks, he did it unarmed, charming the money from the tellers and slipping away before the cops arrived. Some of Redford's best known roles have employed the same characteristics as the Sundance Kid and Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. As the Sundance Kid and Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid Redford was a gunfighter, the kind of gunfighter audiences loved to root for. He had a broad smile and a gleam in his eyes, riding all the way to Bolivia. Later, when Redford played Johnny Hooker in The Sling, a movie about Rivers working on the ultimate con, he embodied both these characteristics as he hooked audiences once again. Redford owns this role. Incidentally, those two successes were also two of Paul Newman's best movies. Newman was the Butch Cassidy to Redford Sundance and the Henry Gondolf to Redford's Johnny Hooker. Watching those old movies are like visiting an old friend. For The Old Man and the Gun, David Landry and cinematographer Joe Anderson actually made a new film that looked like a late 70s, early 80s film by filming on Super 16 film. I know I'm preaching to a digital crowd, so let me add that you can get a super 16 look with a microphone or thirds camera like a GH4 or a Lumix GF3 I am filming on now. I'll link a guide below. Here's how I recreated the look. My primary camera is a Panasonic GF3 with a snug 14 to 45 Lumix lens. The GF3 only provides mono. Paul Newman's last roles were as Doc Hudson in Cars, and Tenna and Meerkats, the movie. He died in 2008. I would have loved to have seen both of them together in the last film, going out together like Wood Chesney and Sundance, but this is impossible. Instead, we get to see Redford at his best, twinkle in his eyes, going out with one last con, winking and smiling at the audience because, 
Everyone is part of the joke. No one is left holding the bag as Lowry salutes Redford's brilliant film career. If you like this video, click like, subscribe, ring my bell for notifications, visit my links in the comment box below, and I'll see you in the next movie review.